Today we're going to discuss what to do if your client has overflexion in the deadlift as a fault or what we would call the cat back deadlift. So Georgia is the perfect person to demonstrate the cat back deadlift. So I want Georgia to demonstrate that and then I want to talk about some ways to fix that that are not tactile. So Georgia, just give us your nice cat back deadlift. Good. Give me a couple more reps. Good. And then we've probably been in this situation and you're like, hey, Georgia, go ahead and squeeze your scaps together. And Georgia does another rep and she doesn't know what that means. And I'm like, okay, I'm not going to fix that by discussing or I'm not going to fix that by touching her upper back and telling her to do something that she may not be capable of doing. So what I want to talk about is identifying this problem in the assessment before you ever get to the deadlift. So what we would look at in this case is the reverse plank. So I want Georgia to demonstrate the reverse plank. And what we're looking at right now is Georgia's inability to retract the scapula or the upper back. So if Georgia is, that's good Georgia, if Georgia's unable to retract the scapula in a reverse plank, she's going to be unable to retract them when I'm asking her to pick up load in the deadlift. Uh, Georgia, you can go ahead and get up. So let's talk about fixes for the issue that George is having with the inability to retract the scapula. So first, the first thing I would look at is the scratch test. Can Georgia actually get into extension and flexion with her arms? So let's say that we already checked that. Georgia's a good, she passed it. Do you actually pass that? I passed that. Cool, yeah, <laughs> Georgia passed it. Now, what do we do? So number one, I can just feed the problem. So part A in Georgia's training program three, four, five times a week could just be get into the reverse plank and let's teach yourself, teach your body how to actually retract, retract the scaps in that movement. So we would just call that feeding the problem. Another couple things that we can do is shoulder cars, right? So I can progress Georgia in a shoulder car, let's call it um, a four week exercise progression where I can have her doing it from you know, quadruped or on all fours to kneeling to standing. And then I just want you to give us a couple reps in standing just so everyone understands what a shoulder car is. So you can see that George is bringing that scapula through full range of motion. She gets to the back, she's reversing the hand, and she's actually retracting that scapula. So essentially it's just practicing going through retraction in a very, very controlled manner. So with your client, maybe in the warm up, you can go, um, A1, five shoulder cars per side. A2, 10 to 20 second reverse plank, focusing on getting into that retracted um, feeling that you felt as you went through the back side of that shoulder cars. So once we go through that, let's reassess the reverse plank once we're good to go there. So what we're looking for is 60 seconds. And the reverse plank is just a, an OPEX move assessment or movement screen that we put all of our clients through. And once she passes that, now we're good to go and we can go back to the barbell. Georgia knows how to retract the scaps and she's good to go. So have fun with that and try that progression with your clients.